Hi, what is the challenge while installing WSL? Challenge is like uh, by default the installation directory is in the C drive and as like mine, your space is also maybe increasing in C drive and but you want to change the directory of the installation of WSL. So for this, I'll going to show you this demo wherein I'm going to change the uh, directory installation directory path of the WSL new installation. As you can see, I have already installed three different version of uh, WSL Ubuntu, Debian, Ubuntu 20, Ubuntu 16. Now in this demo, I'm going to show you how to install uh, w uh, Ubuntu 18.04 in WSL with change of the directory in D drive. By default, the path is C drive, but I'm going to change it to D drive. So the default path is in C drive users app data local for this i'm going to show you just four or five command which will help you to change the directory of the installation let's have a look these are the command let's make the directory in d drive directory created now let's go to the directory we are in the directory if you want to install ubuntu 16.04 then use the above link but i'm going to install 18.04 then i'm going to use this below one i'll mention these url and this command in the description box so that you can copy and paste let's see run this command it will take some time because it is going to download the package the gif file from the microsoft website which will use we will unzip that and we'll get the .exe file there from where we can install the ubuntu 18.04 we have to wait for some time just be patient finally it took around 15 minutes because my internet speed was slow let's check which file is downloaded we are able to get this file ubuntu dot appx now we have to rename it then extract it rename it to zip and then we are going to extract it and we'll get the setup file in that zip archive let's have a look now we are going to rename this zip file with this command the file is renamed now let's expand archive this will take some time now let's run the command now now we got this file this folder and this exe now this exe will create a file here look at this ext 4vhdx this is the main hdd file or hard disk file which is going to carry all the data in this particular d drive only so this is very easy you can also try this now we have to create a username sonos kv then password then password C 
see now we are able to run version 18 on d drive so this is installed on d drive you can cross check everything again wsl L, v. earlier we have ubuntu 20 and 16 18 was not there now 18 is also running 18 is running on the d drive now and rest of the my oss are on c drive this way you can check 